My name is Olusha Lassani Ninyolua. Hi, my name is Chiste Lovera. Hi, my name is Ndibizi Chukwemika. And we participated in Lead the Way program organized by Leap Africa. At first, when I heard that I would be staying an extra week in school for a leadership program. I was ticked off. I wanted to go home immediately. I didn't want to stay back because I thought it wouldn't be worth it and I thought it was just like one other regular seminar that we always have. The first day, and what I had most people actually enjoyed the class because the class was interactive. It was very nice. The teachers were kind and they were very understanding. And for us teenagers, we like interactive classes and not seminars where we just sit down and listen because we find it boring. We like the interactiveness, the games, the activities, everything that we did. 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22. My favorite activity in the Lead Away program was the Marshmallow um, Tower. Because it was very frustrating at first because we had to build a tower of spaghetti sticks and marshmallows. The spaghetti sticks kept on breaking and it was getting very annoying. But my teammates, who had already done it before time, guided us in how we were supposed to do it. And we, though we did not win, my team got 15 centimeters, which was almost close to the Yes, ma'am. As an activity we were given to do, we were told to make an advertisement for a new company. I was grouped with a couple of friends and we were given the task of making an interesting um, advertisement based on the things that we had learned prior. Even though it was very hard, we had to work as a team to figure out a good idea so we could stick it to the minds of the of our classmates. And if I do say so myself, I think it was pretty good. My favorite was the dog of all because people in my group we weren't really that like we weren't really that strong. But during the process, as we were pulling, we were, we were losing, it, but I had to encourage them so that we don't feel shameful at the end. And then eventually we won. We actually won, and it made me think that yes, being in a team can actually lead to progress. What we're about to do is a trust walk. It's one of our key activities here in Leap Africa to ensure that the teenagers have a clear idea of leadership, a clear idea of listening also, 
a clear idea of following instructions how to be led and how to lead also so i'll be showing you how we do the trust work all right can we all be on a single file you're not a single file just right here good now we're going to do something Faith on the floor. Who can take this person back to the hall? Back, you have to take him back to the hall. The person will take you back to the hall. Right? Bring him here. Alright. Please be careful. There are steep grounds here. But I want you to trust your partner. Trust. You see, we are building with trust. Leadership is trust. Leadership is about listening. Right? So when I say one, two, three, you're going to take them back to the hall. One, two, three. My best was the, the trust work. I was blindfolded and then in my group we also had the opportunity to lead a person. So you'll be blindfolded and you have your partner, but then when you get to a certain part, you guys have to reverse the roles and you'll be the one leading your partner. So I started first, I was the one blindfolded and then at first it was difficult to, I don't know, like move because I, I, di I didn't really trust my partner at first. But then I got the hang of it and then I was like, why not? Why don't I just trust this person? And then I just continued going and we made it. We we're one of the first people to arm through the destination. And it taught me a lot. It taught me about leadership. Like there were so many things. The trust work really helped me to trust people. It taught me teamwork. It taught me that when you're working with people, you need to learn to trust them in order to meet your goals. I learned to trust my partner and we were the first people there at the end of the line. Like it was such an exhilarating event. They are not even blindfolded, you can see everything. You are meant to direct them. They are the ones that are meant to be scared, not you. You have to calm down. Then leading them, you have to lead them the right path. You can't tell them to go right when they are actually meant to go left. So you have to lead them in the right path how they can get to the goal of that specific, of what you want to achieve. Leap Africa has been with us for a four-day program for our students and um, it has been a very great one. Personally, I have been able to learn some other things outside of the classroom. You know, the program has been a program that has brought efforts um, to bring importance to collaborative efforts and practicalize what we most times teach them within the four walls of the classroom. And I think it's going to be a great way for us to start come next session, knowing fully well what they've learned and to put them into reality. I'm also impressed with the way uh, our students have been impacted in the program, especially the emphasis of what we have been doing in the school here, the emphasis on the need or emphasis on the need to have good character and emphasis on soft skills in the 21st century. So the Leap Africa program have come here to emphasize the skills that our students will become better leaders tomorrow and we are currently seeing uh, positive changes in the lives of the students. We hope to have more of this program. Thank you. In the past four days, my colleagues and I have been with the students of Mekai Pleasure College and we have quite interesting learning experiences with the kids where we expose them to self-leadership and community leadership. Over the course of the training, we had sessions on communication, team building, conflict resolution, time management. To mention a few, I've seen many of the students come out of their shell, ask questions, ask for clarifications, give scenarios, they have shared their reflections with us and I'm confident that many of the students have learned the key principles, the key principles of leadership and they have learned something that they are going to implement in their own personal life. Once we came here, some of, we asked some of them and they said, oh, well, I don't have a vision for my life, I don't have a role model, I don't have an ambition, I'm just living my life every day. And it really breaks my heart uh, to see that teenagers, young kids have no vision for their life. I know it's such an important part of their life and that's why we are here. So that was a very big challenge for us indeed. But I 100% believe that living today, we've been able to paint a clear picture of what it means to have a vision for their life. 
and a goal and how to pursue that goal completely. How I can be a leader in everything I do and how being a leader is nothing, is not something that someone gives to you, it's something that you choose to take upon yourself. How easy it is to identify a problem and gather people to solve that problem, the importance of, of teamwork, the importance of willpower. I really like to thank Leap Africa for coming to our school and helping me see leadership in a different light. At first, my ex expectations was just in going to be boring. I want to go and meet my mommy. My mommy and dad is waiting for me. My food is waiting for me. But actually, it's my actual my expectation I met it was even beyond what my expectations was actually about because it was fun, it was adventurous, it was time taking, yes, but it was equally fun and amusing. So yes, my expectations were met. Oh, I learned about time management, effective time management and self-identity. It has really impacted on me a lot, helped me to reach my goals, helped me to become a better leader. I want to thank the Leap Africa facilitators for coming to Master Kaiser College and to teach us skills in order to become a leader of Nigeria and to dance in Europe. I'm really thankful for the Africa for what they've done and they've made me um, realize some things that I didn't know that I could do personally. I'm very thankful for coming to Matriclesia College and changing some aspects of my life and I hope to see Leap Africa somewhere else in my life. Thank you. I want to thank Leap Africa for everything they've done, for the knowledge they've impacted on me and my teachers. May God guide and protect them. I like the teachers. I liked how kind they were. I like the fact that they we interacted f freely with them, and I really hope that Leap Africa can come again to our school because I really enjoyed the program. I recommend this program because it's not only me that wants to learn leadership. Other people need to learn leadership so that when it's our own time to lead the country Nigeria, we will have experience and. We can actually lead our fellow Nigerians properly to the right spot. 